Hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? Sorry, our brightness was down. <laughs> okay, no problem. I appreciate you meeting with me. I know you've had a busy day, so. Oh, no worries. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Sweet. So we can just get right into it if you don't have any questions for me. Sure, go for it. All right. I guess let's just start with, um, obviously, today you made the decision to um, not allow Representative Zephyr to speak on the House bill. Um, why did you come to that decision? And specifically, what about specific, specifically, what did she say to lead you to make that decision? Sure. So it's uh, my responsibility as Speaker of the Montana House um, to uh, um, to ensure decorum, to ensure decorum with all hundred members of us on the House. And there has been every session there is there are people that are out of decorum, and we have to address those issues from time to time. And people get passionate, and that's understandable. Um, and we've done that in the past. Uh, and uh, every representative has uh, up to date has. Um, has acknowledged that and uh, and apologized and and uh, assured assured me that uh, decorum was going to be kept in in the future. Uh, Representative Zephyr has made comments uh, in the past that are derogatory and uh, did not show uh, remorse of uh, staying within that decorum and uh, until that can happen and and trust is restored, uh, uh, recognition won't be granted. Yeah, definitely. Can I ask specifically what were the words that she used that you believed were um, out of decorum? Sure. Uh, multiple times. I mean, shaming people uh, for their votes, uh, just a flat out shame on shame on you for voting. Uh, um, people, if they didn't vote uh, the right way, would have uh, blood on their hands. Uh, very in inciting uh, personal um uh, personal comments that don't belong on the House floor. We're here to debate the ideas. Uh, I said that in my opening uh, speech on day one when we got swore in that we're here to debate the ideas. We're not here to make it personal. And uh, um, and I'm going to hold to that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and how long do you plan on not allowing her to speak? That'll be up to Representative Zephyr. Um, once trust is restored uh, and uh, confident that the debate will stay within decorum, I'm more than happy to uh, to have have that uh, to have that recognition back and, and the debate uh, uh, to the issues that the people of Montana expect. Yeah, definitely. So, are you kind of looking for an apology at this point? Probably be a great step forward, but it comes back to trust. I need to trust that. Uh, uh, when recognition is given to any member on the House, that they're going to stand up uh, within decorum and uh, debate the issues professionally uh, and not incendiary. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess what would you say to critics that are saying, um, you know, you're almost silencing her on issues that she has um, personal experience with? What would you say to those critics? Um, I'm not uh, silencing anybody. This is uh, there's a path forward. Uh, it's in the rules um, to acknowledge recognition or not. Uh, once again, anybody, any representative that wants to debate within within the decorum um, and within that integrity and dignity of the House that the Montana House is uh, accustomed to, um, I'm going to recognize them. Yeah, definitely. Um... And I, I suppose another critique that people may have is that um, apparently other comments like this have been made in the past with different consequences, not as severe. What would you say to that? Um, I don't think there's been uh, um, this type of rhetoric on, on the floor. And once again, it's not uh, even the rhetoric. There's been multiple times that decorum has been breached. Uh, everybody has come to a, a conclusion and been able to move forward and assure me that they were going to stay within decorum moving forward, uh, everybody but Representative Zephyr. Definitely. Okay, well, is there anything else that you'd like to say on this issue? No, I think you, yeah, you hit it well. Like I said, I'm a uh, speaker of the entire House, and uh, it's up to me to uh, maintain that uh, dignity and integrity, um, quoting straight from our rules, uh, of the house, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm more than 
more than happy to acknowledge any and all representatives if I uh, have their trust that uh, they can stay within decorum uh, during debate on the House floor.